Just a little addendum to the last video where the display of the O1P4305 lab power supply failed. I'm pretty sure now that's a thermal problem. As soon as something gets warm here in the display, it stops working. So let's try that. Uh, room temperature is 18 degrees C. That thing was sitting for the whole night at 18 degrees C. Yeah, heating is off and now, yeah, I have a stopwatch here. Now we see what's happening. Display is here and uh, yeah, you see the time running. I will time lapse now, I guess. So this was running now for uh, yeah uh, almost uh, half an hour at uh, yeah a little over 17 degrees room temperature, and absolutely nothing happened. So what I will do now is I yeah um, from, uh, switch it on and off again uh, maybe for a few times, and then I will switch it off and yeah uh, <laughs> switch the heating on in the room. Uh, until we are at 21, 22 degrees, uh, whatever I get today. And um, we'll see what happens then if I switch it on. I guess after 5 to 10 minutes at most, it should, uh, yeah, the display should fail. But uh, as I said, right now, absolutely no problems. So let's switch that off and uh, I come back to you when we have uh, yeah uh, about 21, 22 degrees in here. So it's afternoon, the heating was running, the unit was off for several hours and we have now a cozy uh, 21, 22 degrees inside here. And yeah, let's try this again. Time lapsed, of course. So we are almost half an hour in and the display is still working. Room temperature, yeah, uh, more like 22 degrees now. I'm a little bit flabbergasted. Let's wait until we have a full 30 minutes here and then switch it on and off again a few times. But I'm, <clears throat> I could have sworn that this is a some kind of thermal fault inside the LCD display itself. It's obviously an active display with a, yeah a control chip for yeah for the display itself or integrated in the display itself together with a backlight. So yeah. Uh, absolutely. No problem. Okay, uh, I let the unit run now and I will <laughs> recreate my setup and see if the problem <laughs> was caused by something there. I have no idea. So I've recreated the setup where it failed. Uh, still in the off state and I started the timer again and yeah we are still we are now approaching 22 degrees here uh, it really gets cozy in here and yeah it's still going strong I won't wait uh, half an hour for this test run I will just wait um, yeah 50 minutes maybe uh, please note that the uh, cooling vents here are partially obstructed now. So here, that's the partial obstructing of the openings at the side. On the other side, yeah, sorry for um, <laughs> uh, the camera work. Um, 
Yeah, that might have heated also up something inside. Everything's in view. We're two minutes in and we'll see what happens. So almost 15 minutes in now and uh, yeah, I created exactly the same setup. Uh, okay, I didn't uh, connect the probe, but <clears throat> nothing, absolutely nothing is happening. And we have <laughs> still 20 seconds to go, yeah, 15 or something, but uh, yeah. Um, so it's not that. <sighs> my next suspect is, yeah, my load. And in the last setting, uh, yeah, the unit remembers your last setting. I run that at, yeah, 600 milliamps. So, basically nothing. And I reset my stop clock here. Do I get some? Ah, this is half a watt. No, uh, let's do that a little bit differently. 40 watts and we are generating a lot of heat here now. And we start the stopwatch and we'll see huh, what happens. Okay, I let that run much longer than I intended. Uh, yeah, uh, let's go up with the power, make more heat. I just switched off and on the camera again, but yeah, let's go for those 24 volts. One hundred ten watts, and now it's really heating the side here. So <clears throat> we'll see. And uh, yeah, I readjust the exposure just a second. Yeah, you can uh, still read the time, and <laughs> I wanted to reset that. Yeah, barely readable, but what can you do? Maybe turn off. Nah, no, no. Let's not fumble around with the uh, exposure. It's barely readable against the light. And uh, yeah, maybe if I put it on the other side. Oh yeah. A little better. And it's really warm here on the bench now, obviously. So that was <laughs> another 15 minutes almost now. Uh, under the load I had the thing at most during the tests and nothing happens. The only difference is I haven't got the oscilloscope probes connected. So I will do that next. Reset the clock. And another 50 minutes. And yeah, I'm <clears throat> driving the exposure down a little bit. Can you see that? Yeah, and yeah, it's really getting warm here. Uh, yeah, the internal sensor here in front of the oscilloscope, it shows 25. Maybe we put that a little bit away from the oscilloscope. Yeah, that's what happens. It's okay. No panic. Ah, 
I let that run longer than intended, over 20 minutes, and yeah. It's still going strong. So I'm a little bit at a loss here. I uh, tortured that thing now and I can't recreate the failure. So yeah, no need to send it in in that state uh, because they will switch it on and tell me it works fine. Anyway, that gives me the opportunity to continue with the review itself. Uh, so, uh, see you there. Bye.